Hi everyone, I'm Linda Colmenares and I'll be sharing today's daily devotional. Today we open up in Proverbs 16, 9 that says, In their heart man plans their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. Let me tell you what stuck out to me this week. This week, what stuck out to me is that man plans in their heart. Don't you find it interesting that the Bible verse didn't say man plans in their mind? No, we may think about a lot of things, but true decisions happen in our hearts. That's why when we believed in Jesus, where did we believe? In our heart. And then we confessed with our mouth. See, once we make a decision in our hearts, we are called to action. And that's what happens when we make plans in our hearts. We start putting into action all our plans. But like any good plan, there is a beginning to every plan. And this is where I want to focus today. I want to invite you to invite the Lord to establish the steps within your plan. See, you don't need to go about your plans alone or try to figure out every step. God has got you. See, He knows all the desires of our hearts. And like any good father, which we call him Abba Father, He wants to help us and accomplish our desires. Psalms 37, 4 says, Take delight in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. You know, in my professional life, I am a nurse. Now, if you don't know, nursing school is really, really, really difficult. Between clinicals and classes, you pretty much don't have a life. Well, I decided to go back to nursing school. I decided to go back to school as an adult, as a mom, and as having a full-time job. As you can imagine, that was nearly impossible to add nursing school into my schedule. I looked far and wide for the right nursing school that would allow me to be mom, that would allow me to work, and would allow me to be close to my family if I needed it. And something always went wrong. Either the school was too far, or the schedule was really bad. It just never, ever worked out. And I grew super frustrated. But you know, God gives us good desires, and they live in our hearts for a reason. They're, they live in our hearts to, to fulfill a purpose for Him. Philippians 2.13 says, For it is God who works in you to will and act and to fulfill His good purpose. And knowing this, I decided to pray. And I said, God, I don't understand why I have this strong desire to go back to school, and yet it just never works out. I got so flustered, I said, If it's not from you, God, then remove this desire out of my heart. But if it is from you, then please make it work out. I need your help. (laughs) And you know what happened? By me bringing the Lord into it, I told God that He's in control, that I didn't want to go about it my own way because it seemed like everything I was doing was wrong. It seemed like it was leading me away. Proverbs 16.25 warns us about this. There is a way that appears to be right, but in the end, it leads to death. I had to check myself God first. I had to come to the point where I realized I never came to God with this desire. I never let Him be in control. Have you ever done that before? Have you ever had a plan and not give it to the Lord and try to go about it all by yourself and all of a sudden, it's not working out? Well, here's the good news. No matter where you're at in your plan, God is faithful to meet you there. All you got to do is invite Him into your plan. Proverbs 3, 6 says, In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make your path straight. Amen. And that's what I did. In the middle of my plan, I asked God to come in and help me and straighten out my plan. The next thing you know, one day I'm talking to my friend at work and she's telling me how on Friday she was going to start nursing school. 
And jokingly, she said, you want to come with me? And I said, yeah. And guess what? The school wasn't far. The schedule was perfect. And it allowed me to be with my family. And to say the least, I got to accomplish the desire of my heart. See, it was so perfect. It was better than I could ever imagine. It was just like how Ephesians 3.20 says, Now him who is able to do immeasurably more abundantly than we could ever ask for according to his power that is at work within us. See, we may have plans, but God does it way better. He gives us the desire to act, but he steps in and ordains every step and makes it perfect. So why not invite God? Today, I would love to invite you to ask God to meet you right where you're at. You might have not started your plan with God, but He will meet you right there today, this day, this moment. I'm going to pray with you tonight that wherever you're at, wherever you are in life, that God will meet you there and establish your steps for His glory. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we are so thankful, God, that even when we fail to acknowledge you in the beginning, you meet us right there, Lord, and you straighten out our path. I thank you, God, that you do far exceedingly abundantly that we could ever imagine to fulfill desires, Lord, that you have given us. And Lord, that it may serve for your glory, even in the slightest way, Lord, that may it all glorify you. I pray for those who need your help, Lord. I pray that you would strengthen them, that you would give them knowledge and wisdom, and that their crooked path be made straight. In the name of Jesus, amen. Well, I'm so glad you joined us today. Just a friendly reminder that tomorrow, Friday, we have Kingdom Pantry, food available for the neighborhood or for, for anyone who is in need. Come and visit us tomorrow morning here at Faith Tabernacle. And as always on Sunday morning, if you're in the San Gabriel Valley, El Monte, South Almani, we are here live. You can come and join us at 10 a.m or join us on Facebook and YouTube where you can watch from live service. As always, we are so thankful for you. If you have any prayer requests, feel free to send them over as we love to pray with you. God bless.